Hello and welcome to the Union Awards Student Voice and Impact Edition. These are our annual awards where we celebrate the activists, change makers and leaders who have pushed the student experience forward. The course reps who ensured student issues were discussed and acted upon in SSLCs. The student activists who organised and campaigned for change. The students that championed wellbeing. And the projects that have changed student life for the better. This year, it's even more important to celebrate these students. Overcoming the barriers to organise, listen to student issues and be in the spaces where they can create change. These awards are to thank all of you who have made sure that the student voice is heard and acted upon across the university and even further. Your work hasn't gone unnoticed and we want to thank you for your perseverance, dedication and passion for change. You make the Students' Union into the student-led organisation that makes students' lives better. Thank you and welcome to the Union Awards Student Voice Impact. This award recognises the SU committee member who has shown outstanding commitment to their exec and has contributed to its successes. They have supported other SU committee members in their activities and helped achieve a positive impact for students. The winner is Sebastian West. There is more than just the university community that affects students. Students make up a big proportion of towns and cities around the University of Warwick, and it's important that students have community feelings outside of campus. This award is for great work students do in their community. This could be a single event or an ongoing project. Students making an impact in the local area is usually overlooked, but it's very important to student life. Shortlist. Warwick Chess Society, Sana Matar, and the Medical School SFLC. And the winner is Sana Matar. In her areas of social participation, Sana has been working to create an impact in her community through youth engagement and leadership for the last three years. With the onset of the pandemic, she led a total of 150 volunteers from across the country to create awareness and positivity through digital campaigning during the most difficult times. She also organised a digital fest to raise 500,000 rupees for vulnerable communities in India. She launched her own social enterprise in 2021, Global Volunteers Action Network, GVAM. And GVAM aims to work with their NGO partners to create interventions and volunteer opportunities to integrate qualified, highly motivated and well-supported volunteers into promoting and working towards the sustainable development goals. She also inherited a COVID relief response campaign at GVAN and helped reach more than 5,000 people to help them with medicines, resources, oxygen, meals and mental health resources. So next up, we have the Part-Time Officer of the Year Award. And this one goes out to that part-time officer that has shown real dedication to their role over the year and has worked really, really hard to make a better experience for students. So our three nominees for the Part-Time Officer of the Year are Evelyn Sanderson Nichols, Amara Okoye and Isabel Atkins. And I'm super excited to announce that the Part-Time Officer of the Year for 2021 is... Evelyn, congratulations, Evelyn. Thank you for all your awesome work this year. So Evelyn has done loads and loads of work um, in creating a network of part-time mature students um, and doing loads and loads of work with them to uh, kind of make sure they're supported in terms of well-being um, and also career support going forwards. Um, now, part-time mature students are a community that uh, the SU does often struggle to engage with. And so it's amazing that um, Evelyn's done so much work to kind of foster such a great community and get them all involved in the SU's work. Thank you, Evelyn. Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm the Academic Voice and Policy Manager for the Students' Union. The next award is for Faculty or Department Rep of the Year. Our faculty and department reps ensure that student voice is heard across the institution, from meeting with our course reps and our students, and then going to university level meetings to ensure that things are changed for students. This year it's been very difficult as they have not been able to meet up physically, but seeing all the work they've done throughout the year really gives me pride uh, to be able to give out this award to any one of them who've really shown that they can persevere in such a difficult year. And the nominees are Rejuana Fadushaki, Jasmine Britton, Sophia Dadu and Dale Hardy. And the winner is Jasmine Britton. Jasmine has excelled in the role of faculty representative for the science, engineering and medicine, and they have been able to do a lot of great work. With the onset of the pandemic, the month of January saw a number of issues after the exams, 
and they created a petition signed by 270 students from all years to ensure extensions and grades of engineers do not unjustifiably affect job prospects. The pressure from the petition resulted in a reconsideration from the heads of department to include self-certification for engineering students, consideration in to including the safety net for the previous year and exams that cater for all students. Further results include working out being submitted for the summer exams and parts not being reliant on previous answers. Congratulations. So the next award is for the Student Wellbeing Champion. Um, promoting well-being and a positive attitude towards students' mental health has never been as important as during the COVID-19 pandemic. So this award takes on even more significance this year. Um, it's for an individual who not only demonstrates a commitment to their own well-being, but has invested in the well-being of their peers by actively engaging in or promoting social, mental or physical well-being activities that inspire students. So the shortlisted nominees for this award were Callum Crockford, Ellie Rain and Tiana Holgate. So it is my honour to present this award to Ellie Rain, who is MedSoc's welfare officer. Um, in this role, she has worked tirelessly throughout the pandemic to support students, which is particularly challenging in light of the fact that medical students are still going out to clinical placements and have been throughout the pandemic. The toll upon student welfare has been significant. However, Ellie has worked so proactively with staff and other societies to support students during this time. She's organised drop-in sessions, collaborated with um, Yoga Society to deliver mindfulness and wellbeing sessions. And she organised a huge event um, called Wellbeing Day with the Director of Student Experience. Um, so she has put so much of herself into this role as a, med as a MedSox Welfare Officer. So um, a big congratulations to Ellie for winning this award. Our next award is for Course Rep of the Year. Truly committed to their role and the fair representation of their cohort's academic interests at the SSLC, this Course Rep is exceptional. They actively seek course-related feedback from their fellow students, consistently attend SSLC meetings and constructively deliver this feedback to the SSLC, collaborating with other course reps and members of academic staff to strive for productive, realistic solutions. They are an effective and productive communicator, a strong negotiator, and are motivated to have a positive impact on academic life at Warwick. They have also attended course rep training and actively engaged with the SU. Our nominees are Megan Kelly, Kamal Ganji, Karis Hill and Emily Sanders. And the winner is Megan Kelly. Megan is a first year student on a new course, the BA in Media and Creative Industries. She was elected as SSLC rep for the course within the centre and also serves on the SSLC. Without any older students to advise or mentor her, Megan has been a dynamic and proactive leader of her fellow students. She was able to negotiate a change to essay deadlines, which had not sufficiently taken into account student workload during a pandemic. She and her fellow SSLC rep have set up a weekly spill the tea drop-in for students to meet friends and share anxieties. She helped organise a mental health drop-in for first year students in the school, she represents the course at interview days. She has joined the events committee, helping to devise fun activities for locked down students. She is dynamic, down to earth, friendly and cheerful. I have no doubt she has made a really positive difference to students' experience during this difficult year. Sustainability is an important cause that many students want to champion on campus. This award is for the students that have been championing the fight for sustainability in many different ways. They have created campaigns, developed events and changed the culture of the Warwick community. And the winner is Kimia Talebi and Asosa Akoji for Green Week. Kimia and Asosa are obvious picks for this sustainability award after running an event pack for Green Week in Term 2. They work closely with multiple SU staff teams and external organisations to run events such as sanitary product making and talks on the effect of the climate crisis in the global south. They have been wonderful environment and ethics officers this year in the midst of an incredibly difficult year and fully deserve this award. SU Committee of the Year has consistently engaged with the wider student population. 
they have made a positive impact on the student experience, enhanced the reputation of the students' union or created posit positive change within the union or local community. This could be through lobbying, campaigning, writing policy, or through any other creative means. The exec have successfully collaborated to achieve positive changes. Shortlisted are welfare, liberation and diversity, and the Societies Committee. And the winner is the Liberation and Diversity Committee. Liberation and Div Diversity exec have completed some excellent work that they have done individually as PTOs and together as a committee. They have passed multiple motions that improve SU policy for students from liberated communities and have all done great work in their own right, such as the WP officers, Fatima and AXA, starting a student advisory group, and the ethnic minorities officers, Naz and Rachel, for organising this term's liberation conference. Hi, I'm Rob Parkinson, Chief Executive of the Students' Union. Our next award is for outstanding leadership. Creating outstanding student leaders is an important part of our work at the Students' Union. Outstanding leaders can come from um, various um, areas of our work, from success with a campaign, society, club or exec, to, to leadership in representation with an SSLC exec or voluntary group. It could be an official or unofficial leadership role, just as long as it's outstanding. The shortlist is George Wise, Maria Karayuki and Farah Vogel Javeri. And the winner, the winner is Maria Karayuki. For those of you that don't know, Maria is the founder of the Warwick Black Chemistry Society launched in September 2020. In a short space of time, Maria mobilised various student communities to create a space for black students and to hold the department accountable to provide a better experience for black students. She's collaborating with the Network for Ethnic Minority Postgrads, sits on various committees and groups, for example, STEM and Diversity, was a key person in helping to establish the Diversity Book Club in Chemistry, and has recently applied for funding from the Royal Society of Chemistry to ensure that the society lives on beyond her student experience. She has fearlessly challenged outdated thinking, proactively sought out funding, gathered and shared student experiences, and worked tirelessly to create a network of students whilst collaborating with the department and other student movements to ensure black students are listened to. She thoroughly deserves this award as an outstanding leader. Next up, we have the Academic Society of the Year Award. Now, this award goes out to the academic society that has really excelled in supporting students um, from both in the disciplines they represent um, and others, uh, and to really kind of help build communities um, within courses and within departments. Um, and as a uh, ex-Math Society president, this is one that means quite a lot to me. The shortlist for this award is Warwick Academic Medicine Society, Philosophy Society, and Warwick Classic Society. And I'm thrilled to announce that the winner of Academic Society of the Year Award is Warwick Academic Medicine Society. Congratulations. They've actually, uh, over the last few years, apparently made a significant difference in the lives of hundreds of students. They've held um, and developed a national conference running since 2018, um, which this year took place virtually, of course. Um, and 60 plus students were able to present their work um, via presentation or orally. Um, which and it received over a thousand views um, from an international audience. They've also run events um, to support students disseminating their work and, and kind of mentor individuals. And also, um, this one's really, really cool, got a grant to implement internships for medical students from WP backgrounds um, to ensure that the playing field across academic medicine um, and uh, have made a significant impact to the culture of the medical school. Creating change is an important part of student voice. A great campaign doesn't just create change, but also makes sure that this change is sustainable and inspires people into developing a better student experience and or awareness of an issue. The shortlist is Tolowa Lipaid and Abigail G. Medin, Julia Alsop and Leila Ahmed. And the winners are Tolowa and Abigail. Tolowa and Abby have proactively responded to life sciences call for action within our community to address issues of racism. They started a subcommittee of our undergraduate SSLC, bringing together black students within our community, offering them a safe place for discussions and a forum to formulate ideas for action. For example, a speaker series is being introduced this year. 
This forum is open to students of all levels, not only undergraduates. Tolua and Abby's encouragement was instrumental in the school's push for the university to join the BB STEM University Alliance. Abby and Tolua share a newly introduced minorities officer role on the undergraduate SSLC and actively encourage other minority groups to follow their lead. This resulted in three other subgroups being introduced and a number of summer internships sponsored by SLS to progress tasks. Tolua and Abby have galvanised the community in a way that resulted in significant achievements over the very short period of time, in a way that is sustainable going forward. Our next award is for SSLC of the Year. This SSLC has engaged with the SU and their cohort, made a positive impact on the student experience and created positive change within the union or their department. They are led by a great chair and sec and have great attendance and engagement from their course reps. A great SSLC is a partnership between students and university staff. The nominees for this award are the Life Science PGT SSLC, the MBCHB SSLC, the PPE Undergraduate SSLC, and the Law Undergraduate SSLC. And the winner is the PPE Undergraduate SSLC. The PPE SSLC have worked incredibly hard this year to maintain a strong online presence whilst also representing the voice of joint honours students on their committee. They have a student-led social media page where they share student stories, informative videos of different pathways within PPE and updates of issues raised within SSLC meetings. The SSLC also works closely with the Academic Society, with the President attending meetings to share updates on society opportunities and events. The PPE SSLC are a dedicated and passionate committee who have been consistently working to represent the voice of students despite additional challenges they have faced this year due to the pandemic. Jackie Page was a much loved and highly respected member of staff who supported and inspired a vast number of students in their leadership, personal development, in their understanding of democracy in the Students' Union and beyond. Her 21 years at the helm of SU Democracy was an amazing achievement and we miss her greatly. This award is dedicated to her memory and to her legacy. This award is open to any student who's made an outstanding contribution to democracy, someone who has engaged with democratic processes to enact positive change. And the winner is Lucy Morris. Lucy has been an amazing chair of SU Council this year. It can be hard to chair council physically, but it's even harder to do so remotely. Lucy has shown her professionalism throughout the year, and without her, SU Council would not be able to function and make decisions. She is perfect for this award. We have the Kevin Gately Award for Student Activism. Now, Kevin Gately was a mathematics student at Warwick who died demonstrating um, against a national front march through London um, back in 1974. Um, now at the time, he was the first person to die in demonstration um, in Great Britain for at least 55 years. And so this award is named in his honour um, and it goes out to the great student activists within campus, within Warwick, um, who kind of make change and fight for the change that students want to see. So our nominees this year for the Kevin Gately Award for Student Activism are Julia Alsop, It Happens Here Society and Amara Okoye. And I am super excited to announce that the winner of the Kevin Gately Award for Student Activism for 2021 is... Amara! Congratulations, Amara, and thank you for all of your amazing work this year. So Amara has done so much work in her role as SU's Women's Officer. Um, she's put in, she bought loads of sanitary products and stocked them within Senate House, been distributing um, attack alarms, uh, and that's just the beginning. She's also been working with um, other student groups like um, Warwick and Sexism Society, It Happens Here, and Shame on You, Warwick, um, but also has been absolutely instrumental in communicating and working with um, the Protect Warwick Women protest. Um, so thank you, Amara, for all of your work. Um, you've achieved a lot uh, and should be super proud. So thank you. With that, we've come to the end of Union Awards Student Voice and Impact this year. Thanks to all the students and staff who nominated such inspiring and dedicated student leaders who have developed great change across the university and beyond. 
Congratulations to all the winners and nominees. When we haven't been able to hear the good work that you've been doing through physical chats, it was great to sit down and see all of the amazing projects and activities that you've done. Thank you for everything that you do. Tomorrow is our final award ceremony of the week, celebrating all the great work student societies have done over the past year to create a digital student social experience. So thank you all for watching and see you tomorrow at Union Awards Societies. <laughs>